Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. I also have a playlist. Stream it now. Hey. <laughs> That's how I started my videos. Just Hey, uh, rebrand. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the Dysfunction That Is My Channel. We're we're in the studio, but in a, a clearly a different position. I don't know what once again this sentence was. The talking thing has become very alarming to me. And by the talking thing, I fully mean my lack of ability to. How are we all doing today? I feel like I'm about to read you guys a story. A story time. And on the next page, he fucked me with a toothbrush. I feel like some videos I haven't really been doing enough. Or have I? What have I been doing? Videos I don't feel like I'm doing enough are like DIY, crafty, that genre of videos I make. If you're like me and are really not leaving the house, you're most likely wearing the same outfit every day. Which for me is... To make matters worse, my own brand. I've just been wearing middle kit like literally every day and every night. What can I say? It's just so comfy. <laughs> but I wanted to spice up some of my stuff and I figured why not DIY my own merch? I don't really like calling it merch. It's more of a labor of love. <laughs> so you've been wearing the same stuff for I, I just, six months? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> what of it? Are you special where you've been getting dressed every night? Elliot, who is one of my good friends and somebody who helps me film, we are back filming again. He's the one who holds the camera and we're making sure we're safe and all of that. So if you hear someone talking, it's Elliot. I've been spending a lot of time on TikTok, which is like the worst place to spend time if you like want to do things because everybody is doing like everything to the coolest extent. So I got some inspiration from TikTok involving bleach and dyeing and I'm gonna cut some stuff up and it's just gonna be one giant Hail Mary, I think. Now, before we get into the video, as you guys know, I've been dedicating my videos to the different causes, organizations, small business, and today's is just no different. I, of course, live in Los Angeles, and I feel like I am significantly less aware of what is going on than, like, when I lived on the East Coast. I don't know what that is. Especially with hurricanes, I feel like I was always aware of them, as we on the East Coast would kind of get, like, the aftermath. Hurricane Laura has hit Louisiana and Texas pretty fucking horribly, and I want to dedicate this video to a GoFundMe that I want us all to contribute to. The pictures and the videos of the devastation is, like, literally... I just feel like everything is uncomprehendable. Incomprehendable? Regardless, it's just incredibly hard to grasp that level of destruction. So I want to dedicate this video to that GoFundMe. Please go give what you can, and if you were affected, I hope that you are safe. I'm gonna leave that GoFundMe on the second line of the description, and I also want to say a huge thank you to everybody who contributed to the Amazon wish list for the teachers in my last video. Seeing how hard you guys go for other people is so fucking cool, and I'm just proud of you guys. And I feel really lucky to have y'all. So thank you for stepping up and showing that it's cool to help and give a shit about other people. And let's do the same for those affected by Hurricane Lara. So go hit that link in the description. We have some clothes to DIY. Also something just very much in my eyeball. Okay, I want to start. All right, so I bought what looks like a ginormous body bag. Maybe it will be one day. All right, the video is off to an immediately weird start. So I bought this because I obviously want to protect the floor. What a stupid explanation. Okay, what is this? Did this rip off? Wait, what? Is this a scarf? Let's make art. What if I just did this? Would you guys be okay if this was a video? If I just danced with plastic? <laughs> Dancing with plastic for 10 minutes. That's when I've officially run out of video ideas, guys, okay? Until then, don't ever fucking comment that. I've run out of video ideas. I know that you guys are probably like, Chris, tell us what you're customizing. We're dying to know. Guys, that's so kind. Calm down, I'll tell you. The first thing we are gonna be customizing are these birthday drop sweatpants, which a lot of you guys might remember from my birthday drop. Crazy how self-explanatory that one was. But I wear these a lot. I love a good light gray sweatpant, but when you wear them every day, you start to want some splash of colors. So what are we gonna give it? Literally a splash of color. The next thing I'm customizing is the memory box tee in the general store. This is like one of my actual favorite t-shirts in my closet. But I thought this would be kind of cool to splatter bleach. You know, like throw... Yeah, splatter bleach. Yeah, it's pretty... Okay, cool. Lastly, we are going to be taking the sweatshirt from the birthday drop. I really want, like, sometimes just, like, a bigger neck. No, no, I'm so sorry. No, I don't want to be Noah Beck. I just want, like, a bigger neck hole sometimes. Like, I like feeling like, you know, there's just, like, space up here. Is this... 
This to me makes sense. And I kind of want to crop it shorter and maybe take off the pocket. Yeah, we're going to be seeing if I just destroy three of my favorite articles of clothing I own or if we're going to do something not that. Let's find out. So I went to an art store a while ago to get canvases and paints for the studio and whatnot. But while I was there, I had this video in mind and I picked up some dyes. We have a... Oh. So it turns out that I bought two types of dye. One for all purpose and then one for synthetic. All right, so for this I have indigo, I have black, I have dark brown, I have cherry red, and I have purple. Definitely an interesting color palette for these sweatpants, but we are gonna work with what we have. It says add one cup salt to dye bath. And I'm like, but what's a dye bath? Okay, we're just gonna mix these. Ooh, the purple! I'm gonna start with the blue. Oh, I don't like how splattery that is. Okay, we're off to a rough start. I will just throw that one out right now. Ooh, let's get some brown in here. Yes, get in with the blue, make friends, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Mmm, let's put some, okay, Chris, you're getting a little crazy. The key to this is just really unlocking your inner artist. Um, blend, but don't blend in. Ooh, yes! Oh my god, I'm so annoying, it's like crazy. The purple is like going crazy. I'm gonna avoid the brown in the crotch area though, I just think that that's an investment in like 100% of my future. Why is this so cool? Oh my god, I'm just an average boy from Delaware. Like, me? What's cool about this is you can like literally do whatever you want. On the back especially, I'm just kind of throwing some color down. Oh my god, I got it on the floor. Oh, it comes right off. Hey guys, what's up? With the intention of just keeping the video going, I'm going to show everything at the end. Of course, I'm not going to miss an opportunity for a beautiful lookbook. So I'll show all of this at the end, but I am very excited about this. I realized that this just bled a little, so I might add a little. I feel like similarly, if I like had a dead body in my house, like I'm like, how, what, where do I put this? So I'm going to go figure that out, and then we will bleach a t-shirt. Stay tuned to QVC. Now I figured we would drink some bleach. <laughs> No, I wish. Not today. I used to do this a lot when I was younger. I don't feel like I've ever done it on like a gray t-shirt before, so this is kind of exciting. I always did it on like black t-shirts and stuff. And one for you, Trump? No, I would never wish harm on my president. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Oh my god, the reason I brought up me doing this as a kid is because I would always put it in a cup and take a spoon and then dump it. So that's what I'm doing. There we go. Some of y'all might have never done this, and it's so cool to watch it just like lift the color right away. Are you gonna lift at all? One thing I will say I remember is putting too much bleach and then the whole fabric just disintegrating. Okay, so this isn't doing anything. Okay, so this so far is not working. Oh, that's great. The back also got it, which... <sighs> Look at that. Who would have thought this much sweat would go into that? Oh god, the whole thing is just bleached, I realize. Maybe I just am not using the right t-shirt. Okay, so this one might have been a fail. Of all the things I'm doing today, this is the one that I was like, Chris, you don't need to research. You, like, did the homework two decades ago. I'm just, like, really surprised why this isn't, like, doing more. So we're on to the third piece of clothing, which is this fire hoodie of mine for my... 26th birthday? Was that smooth at all? No. That was as smooth as crunchy peanut butter. So this is a 2x sweatshirt because I do love that oversized fit. What I'm thinking is I want to take this pocket off and crop it a little bit and then cut a little, you know, a little, little... This bleach is looking appetizing. I don't think I'm very good at cutting, like, the bottoms of things straight at all. Okay, this... Oh boy. Now because I have a sewing machine and I love doing this kind of shit to stuff, I have a seam ripper. This will change your entire life. Um, alright, so I've got to take this whole seam out. There's not a star in heaven that we can reach. I've been copyright claimed by UMG probably. I'm gonna have like a full new outfit by the end of this without buying any new clothes. We are nearing the end of pocket removal. Very exciting, I know. It's like, wow, I can't believe this video is still going. And to that I'd say, me neither. Okay guys, the pocket is removed. Now that we have that, I want my like little slit for my neck. So basically, you just wanna go through and rip all of the stitching like that. 
Now it's open. Look at that. Now your neck is like, I'm like bird, I wanna fly away. Oh my God, I used to do this in high school and it literally makes your sweatshirts just have so much more neck room. Like, ah! Oh. Catch me literally in this for the next foreseeable ever. Oh my God, it's perfect! It's not done yet because I still want a little bit of like a, because I wanted to have like a little ripped vibe, I started a little slit, which is honestly a very large slit. And then I'm just gonna, and now I am like this little me in this cozy little cropped hoodie with neck room and oh a little seduction. But you guys haven't got the official lookbook, so go to the official middle kid meltdown lookbook in three, two, boop. Hey, how y'all doing? So this is <sighs> hmm. So I was filming a video with Andrew. And we got drunk. What I didn't take into account was that I had to film the reveal for all of this, so we're not getting a lookbook. I literally, that's the one thing from that video. Oh no, this video. <laughs> Here are the sweats. I can do what white girls do on TikTok and just move my hips side to side and call that twerking. I honestly think these look fire. I'm obsessed with these. These are the 2XL once again. I put them through the dryer, which I forgot that you shouldn't do because the puff print will come off, so. <laughs> Did I mention I was drunk? Yeah. Okay, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not trying to brag. I'm like literally just like trying to give context. <laughs> anyway, onto the shirt. So this is the t-shirt. Nothing happened, except uh, quite literally the Holy Ghost robbed me of a t-shirt. I put my arm through the wrong hole because all the bleach did was just destroy my hopes and dreams. This is kind of destroyed and I'm genuinely sad I ruined one of my favorite t-shirts on planet Earth. But luckily I know the creator, so <laughs> I'm sweating. Finally, we have this. It definitely accentuates my muffin top, which not stoked about, indifferent about. I will say that this is the one I did in the video right after I finished filming. I did this to another 2XL that I have in my office and I did it longer and it's all I wear. This is all you need to take away from the video. I am actually like literally sweating. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. I just realized our neighbors can like fully hear me saying thank you for this video. It's okay. We're gonna go inside and film this part cause I'm trying to not have people know that we're, fuck, let's go. Thanks for watching. I don't really have an outro today, guys. And I think you can understand. It's 106 degrees. It's 8 p.m. I'm wearing a full sweatsuit. Just go donate to the links down below. I have to take a shower because it feels like I already took a shower. Don't drink tequila.